here. So let's go ahead and create our website header. And the first thing we got to do is create our main menu that you can see here. So let's head over to our WordPress dashboard and then go to appearance and click on menus. And then we want to create the menu by giving it the name here. So I'm going to name it main menu, click on create menu. And then we need to add pages to our main menu. So under pages, let's click on view all. And then what we want to add is our blog page, our about page and our contact page. So let's click on add menu here. And now we can see we have these pages in the main navigation menu. We can also move them around by just dragging them up or down. So the ones that are at the top here are the ones that will come up first. Now, uh, under main menu settings, we want to choose the display location. So where this menu will be displayed. And I'm going to choose main, which will then uh, mean that it will be shown in the website header. So let's click on save menu. And then let's look at our website again by going here and then right click open in a new tab. And now we should be able to see we have this new menu as you can see here. And now to customize this menu to make this look exactly like what we see here, we're going to have to go and click on customize. Then here, the first thing I want to do is disable this top bar, which is the bar above the header. So let's click on top bar and then go to general and then just untick the enable top bar option. And now you can see the top bar is gone. Let's click on publish. And now the next thing I want to do is disable this border that you can see here just below the header. So let's go back to the main menu. Then let's go to header general. And then for the header border bottom, we're just going to click on disable. And that way the border is gone. Let's click on publish. Then let's go back one step and click on menu. And then here what we can do is add an effect that will be shown whenever we hover over the links here. So what I want to do is just add this underline effect that you can see here when we hover over this navigation menu. And you can do that by going to link effects. And then it's this first one underline from left. And then when we hover over the links, you can see you have this underline effect, we just need to change the color as well. So under links effect color, we're going to change this from the blue to the accent color that we have for our website. So I'm going to take this color here and then paste the color code in this field and then just click out of the window. And now when we hover over here, you can see we have this green underline. Then let's scroll down. And for the link color, this is just the color of the text here. So I'm going to change this to also one of my default colors, which is this one here for the text. So copy this code, paste that in here. And now the color has changed. And then I also want to disable the search function here. So I'm going to scroll down and look for search icon. And then I'm going to change it to disabled. And now it is gone. Let's click on publish. And now the last thing I want to do is change the font size of this menu. So let's scroll all the way up, go back two steps, then go to typography, go to main menu right here. And then we can change the font size here. So currently it's 13 pixels. I'm going to change this to 17 pixels to just make the menu here a bit larger. Then click on publish. 